All right, traders, George here, and I just wanted to give you an update on the position trade I showed you last Wednesday for the NASDAQ futures. So uh, the Wednesday video in the afternoon showed this setup. This is a screenshot of that video to start out with here. And essentially, the, the NASDAQ was uh, returning to a spot that we wanted to look at as a rejection point here to go short. I showed you a few targets to the downside here and also made a comment about this zone in general where we wanted to continue to be a buyer above and a seller below. And here is what happened. And this happened real quick. Uh, a lot of you in the room commenting as to the speed and the, the depth as to uh, the, the market moves here. But here is that zone on the afternoon of the 9th. And here is price rejecting that area and moving deeply in favor here. Hitting target 1 and 2 easily over 40 points there at $20 a point, so a minimum of $800 there. Maximum favorable excursion of this move is actually over 56 points, so a real strong run there. And then it bounced back up to that zone the next morning, all the way back up, a chance to reset and be short again, and that moved in favor over 21 points there. Okay, almost hitting the actual target there. And then let me show you what I've shown you in the room and in a few of these videos here when you're approaching a target a real easy thing to do if you don't have that target hit is to look at your five minute fib dots so using our fib dot indicator on the five minute chart after you've approached um, a target watching for price to break through that by a tick here it is on target two on the initial short being breached here at 44s so a chance to really preserve that open position profit here it is at 77, so 10 points in favor off of that reshort, okay? And then the other part of the trade was if we start to move back towards that new commitment area, which started the whole trade idea, that the area that was the initial stop would be a trigger to be long at 9375s, and that breached here and moved well in favor the goal of that trade was, as I mentioned, to retest the highs that we made over here. And you can see we did that and pause. So resting order there, uh, that book's a nice gain over 24 points. And again, revert to your five minute fib. So easy to do this. You can even have two different charts set up. There's the touch and then there's the fibs broken. Okay, so you have a chance to exit all positions there at uh, 15s. Okay. Now you can see that price has reclaimed that zone in this morning. We popped up yet another 12 points to hit uh, the 39.30 level and we're starting to fade from that. So there's just over 110 points booked there based on the trade strategies I showed you Wednesday afternoon and just a handful of days to pick up that many points. There's your update. We'll uh, pick this up in the room tomorrow morning and we'll see you there.